It's been five years since Young Justice last aired on Cartoon Network, so today on Reels Talk, Omar and I are going to be discussing our review of the first three episodes. The new season three, Outsiders, which just premiered on January 4th on the DC Universe app, so stay tuned. So, uh, before we get yes. started, though, this review is going to be spoiler-free, so worry not. We're yes. not going to spoil anything for you, we're just going to hit a few highlights. And before we do that, though, in case you haven't seen Young Justice, just to let you know, it's really not based on anything. It's just a bunch of, maybe an amalgam of, like, Teen Titans and Justice League yeah. and Young Justice all thrown together. Mm -hmm. But it's such a wonderful show. And the reason I would ever think about owning the DC app would be this show. Basically, where we left off at the end of Season 2, Invasion, is the Reach and the Light were working together, and they had place these magnetic field disruptors all over the earth to destroy the earth as a way to hide their cooperation, if you will. And so Lex Luthor comes in to offer some virus software to help destroy these. The Justice League and the Young Justice team up. They're able to destroy all but one, which is the one in the North Pole. So we have Impulse and Flash who go up there to try to turn this off, basically, right. this last magnetic disruptor. However, they need someone extra, so Kid Flash comes in to help. And this is probably one of the most devastating things you're going to see. Yeah, because Kid Flash in, within the show is not as fast as Impulse and, and, Flash. and the original Flash, Barry mm -hmm. Allen. This is Wally West, Kid Flash. And you're right, yeah. it was very impactful, impactful and very sad. Didn't see that coming. Most of us thought thought by the end of season two, Superboy was going to get it. Yes. Nope. Nope. Wally West ki came out of left field. And it left a lot of characters in a state where Artemis is heartbroken because they were dating on the show, as we all know. And even Dick Grayson, Nightwing, was impacted by it and took a leave of absence from The Young Justice. Um, with Caldor, Aqualad, you know, kind of being our head of The Young Justice at the end of everything. Yeah. The biggest thing that happened at the end of that season, though, was Vandal Savage... Um, on Apocalypse, talking to Darkseid, saying business as usual. All three episodes, 20, 24 minutes long each, and available on January 4th. I thought that was a really cool way of doing it, it instead of waiting one episode a week, because how many episodes is it going to be? There's 26, and that's what they're going to be doing. They're going to burn through the 26 episodes, issuing three every week. So that's how okay. we're going to see it. And a little side note, if you guys also have the DC Universe app, they started to release a comic companion piece that goes with it. It takes place between season two and season three. Only two chapters are out of a 12-chapter series, pretty okay. much. And we've had a kind of a time hop in between seasons two and three. This took place in 2016, if yes, I'm not mistaken. 2016. Right? So we've had a two-year gap in yes. between. And from that time, a lot of things have changed. A lot of the status quo have changed. They have a new leader. The Justice League has a new leader, which is really surprising. I thought yes, that was a really was cool great. thing. And you're right, they have a lot of new stuff coming up. So what you see in Season 3, while there's a lot of fam familiarity with a lot of the characters, you have some new characters introduced in the first three episodes, and you also see a lot of our old characters growing and changing as well. So pay attention to Miss Martian and Kaldor or Aqualad. A lot of those people... Who has a new code name. A new code name, so... Wait to see that. It happens within the first episode. Basically where we sit now, it's been two years since everything happened with the Reach and the Light and um, Wally West's death. And we have a new threat, and it's metahuman trafficking of children. And this is a much darker theme than what we've seen in the past. And I think that sets the tone for how the rest of the season is going to go as well. Um, and you have the Justice League and Young Justice are trying to stop the metahuman trafficking. And it, however, they've been constantly thwarted by Lex Luthor. If you remember from the season two, at the end, he was named the UN Secretary General. And he has helped issue a lot of... Um, restrictions and restraints to the Justice League and how they can operate on international and um, domestic soil. And so that has left a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths, particularly many people in the Justice League. And you see some turmoil going in between the ranks of the Justice League. Meanwhile, you see Dick You see Grayson. Batman pull one of his wild cards. <laughs> uh, makes which sense. <laughs> I guess most of us that know Batman saw that coming, but it was still pretty cool. Yes, yeah. And so you also see Dick Grayson, um, Nightwing, and he's still off, like he said, doing his own thing. And he calls upon some of his old friends, and they go to Markovia to help what he thinks is the centralized part of this human trafficking ring. So anybody that reads comic books, which I assume is most of you that have the DC yeah. app, already know what Markovia is, so you know who to, we're going to see there. We're going to see Terra, and we're going to mm -hmm. see Geoforce. Maybe. Maybe. So... Basically, you have those first three episodes, that's what the focus is. It's really that meta-human trafficking arc. 
Um, you're going to see new characters introduced, and you're going to see some of our old characters come back together. A lot Not of cameos. Of yes, Ice. Yes, there so, are some great cameos. Pretty cool cameos if you read comics. Nice little shout out to the big Justice League Unlimited cartoon. That is everything that pretty much is the first three episodes. Yes. It's one story arc, and I'm, I'm assuming a bigger story arc is happening in the background because we... Mm, you know, we don't know what exactly Vandal Savage or Dark Side. Yes, are that has ploying. not even yeah, that has not even been mentioned yet. And this whole Justice League UN scenario, that's going to be something that's an undercurrent that I think will happen throughout the season as well. Now, the big question, of course, is from season two: is will Wally West come back? We don't know. We don't know. We I will say know. it was mentioned. <laughs> something about his name was mentioned in episode one, but that's mm-hmm. about it. We're not going to get into spoilers, but no. at this point, we don't know. Um. How did you feel about the characters themselves? Like, from the two-year gap to now, what did you think about the characterizations? Characters themselves. Let's talk about our main characters. Cal Dora felt, I saw that progression coming, so it wasn't a big surprise to me. Mm-hmm. Nightwing, he's my favorite character in this series, so I really love he's him. He's a man. He's a man. He's kind of cute, too. Um, yeah. But yeah, you. I know you had some issues of characterization. What were your issues of characterization? I'm curious. So, a lot of there's been a bit of a shake-up, right, within the League. I'm sorry, within the Young Justice team. Yes. Where some of the characters have taken a backlight into some newer characters or some characters that were formerly in the justice league now come back and join this little uh team that team nightwing that nightwing <laughs> put together i guess they don't have a name like so you have black lightning and you have artemis who, who's Boy. going who is now going by Ty- artemis again instead yes, of tigress exactly and you have Superboy, mm-hmm. right um, i didn't like what they did with artemis because i really liked her characters in season one and two and I think in this season, she kind of regressed. She's still a badass, don't get me wrong. But I think Her attitude she, and stuff, right? Yeah, it just kind of regressed. I don't know why. It's been two years, and I realized that her well, and Wally were close, and it might have something to do with... Well, obviously, it has something yes. to do with that. Of course it has something to do with Wally West. Of course. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, even in the actual episode, there, when she wakes up, she still has a picture of her and Wally. Yeah. It's been two years, and she still has him on her nightstand. Right. Uh, maybe it's just I miss her old character. Uh, the other one that I really didn't like what they did with was uh, Miss Martian, Megan. Because I feel like they, they, <laughs> they have her. regressed her back, <laughs> even though she has more, more of an important role. She in, does. And I like that she's taken, she looks a little bit different too. She she has taken her true white Martian roots. Yes, she has. Uh, I feel like she had a couple of lines in the first yes. episode and then everybody goes and does their own adventure. But, but that's just because maybe later on she'll be more important. And that's, I think that's the only issue that I might have had with the first three episodes is some of the characters I was really looking forward to seeing again and seeing interact together, we didn't get to see, like Miss Martian, mm-hmm. um, Caldor, the orig- basically the original Young Justice crew. Right. You well, s- the lineup has changed, yes, too. Yes, exactly. But you expected to maybe see some of those characters come back and interact, and you don't see you a see lot little of that. cameos, like Garth's cameo, yeah, uh, Garth, Beast Boy. Yeah, Garth, yeah. But those, those were my two big gripes about the characters that I noticed, because I really yes. enjoyed both of those characters within season one and two. Everybody else was great. It was good to see yeah. Superboy and Robin, or I'm sorry, Nightwing, Nightwing. back together again. <laughs> Uh, it was good to see Black Lightning take this role with the Young yeah. Justice, even though it's He's pretty cool to see him <laughs> not as the leader. It's kind of listening to Nightwing and stuff. Yes. And it, the story was okay. Uh, you know, as long as it's not, they don't drag it out. They close it out in those first three issues and we move on. Three issues. Three, three chapters and we move on. That's cool. Yeah. Well, and I, I mean, I don't think we'll see a full resolution to it, but I think we already, from the last at the end of season or episode three we kind of saw some type of conclusion yeah yeah. um but it'll still carry on because there are still characters who are still around as part of the metahuman trafficking Mm -hmm. um episodes so we'll still see some of the repercussions from that coming up i'd imagine you know one thing i noticed about the show was it's because it's in the dc universe app it's a lot more violent and i don't mean like decapitation violent but there's some blood but there's blood and things that you normally wouldn't see in young justice there's some dark things like dead kids that, yeah, I, mean, I did not expect to see that in a Young Justice cartoon. I mean, not yet. And there's like this one scene um, with one of the new characters that's introduced. Uh, it's a pretty graphic representation of what they look like dead. Um, I don't. Oh, wanna... yeah, it's interesting because we don't know much about that character other <laughs> no. than she's just now learning English. Uh, and they keep calling this character Halo, but she's a lot different than the comic book counterpart. So it, I don't know. It could it be. It could Halo. be her. It could be someone else. Other than the violence, what did you think of the animation? Was uh, it animation? on par with one and two? I think it was on par. It was a little more polished, I think, um, mm-hmm. versus the first two seasons. And I don't know if it's because we got DC Universe 
putting their money into money it to, to make it the best that they can be. But I did enjoy the animation aspects of it. I think How the did you feel? I was kind of halfway in between. I liked aspects of it. I love the fighting. I think a lot of they the fighting is... They did a great is, job with the fighting, the it, action sequences. It's very well choreographed, mm -hmm. I think. That's in, great. Even in animation. Yes. But a lot of the, sometimes I felt a lot of the animation felt stiff. But I kind of felt like that about season one, too. By the time season two came around during the invasion storyline, mm -hmm. though, it was almost flawless how well it was choreographed and how well it was animated. Mm -hmm. And maybe it's just this set of animators within the first season. But I figured, or the first three episodes, but I yes. figured they would want to kick it off with a bang with some amazing animation. But I don't yeah. know. Maybe it'll get better as the season progresses. That's a possibility. You know, so compared to the other two seasons, yes. like I said, but keeping in mind that it's just episodes one and through three, it doesn't feel like it, there's a big epic battle Not coming yet. yet, right? But yeah. we know there's one There has coming. to be, yes. We're going to, even though season two did an amazing job of that, but we got a bigger threat with Apocalypse because we did get to see a little bit of Apocalypse in the ending of season two. Yes. And we get to see a glimpse of it again in season three. So we know that threat is coming. So we know it's going to be huge. It's going to be a huge team up against with the uh, with the Justice League against these oncoming forces. So I'm excited to see that. What are you excited to see? What am I excited to see? I'm excited. I know you were excited about a certain engagement that yes, we can't talk about. We can't talk about because it's a spoiler. But no, I mean, there was a lot of moments. I just want to see the original gang get back together. Okay. Including I Wally? You want to see Wally come back God, from the dead? I would love to see Wally come really? back from the dead. But it's okay if he doesn't. I'll... Sometimes characters stay dead, and that's a good thing because it helps other characters like Artemis and Dick Grayson and fuel their storylines. I understand why he wouldn't come back. Okay. However, I would like to see the characters band together. You've only seen a little bit of it with like Artemis and Dick Grayson and Superboy coming back together in the fold. But the, those small moments that you get in the first three episodes were some of the most enjoyable ones to me. Like, just kind of made me excited. And really got me going. So I hope to see more of them together. Because so far it's not really been the whole Young Justice crew. It's just been Nightwing's gang. And with, and this is the story about Young Justice. So I'm hoping we see more of the rest of the Young Justice. Um, there's new characters. There's new um, people on the roster. I want to see more of them as well. I'm sure we will. Yeah. I know. And I want to see Lex Luthor get taken out. That's why this season... <laughs> That's all I want. Everybody does. <gasps> Everybody wants to see him get his, yes, his, his come comeuppance. Yes, his comeuppance. Yes. So as of right now, as it stands, the first three episodes, kind of hard to judge because it's going to be 26 episodes, but we yes. did the same thing with Titans. Ugh. What would you give this? Well, a lot better than Titans. Okay. Well, I can't remember <laughs> when you gave Titans. Even three episodes into Titans because I kept watching it. Um, I would give this a... I'll give it an 8 out of 10 because I thought it was a solid first outing for a season 3 after it's been on hiatus for so long. Um, this gives me a lot of hope for the, uh, the DC app and mm -hmm. the future of animation within the DC app. You just have to fix a few bugs yeah. and hopefully get it's, those bugs straight those out. DC app uh, bugs. Oh my goodness. But anyway, uh, I would give it an 8.5 out of uh, 10 go. because I'm really excited to see where this goes. And it gives me a lot more hope than Titans did. Because I was not a fan of Titans. I stopped watching after episode four. But that's neither here, here nor, nor there. there. What did you guys think? Please leave those comments down below if you saw it. And um, if you like this, if you would like for us to review the entire season, yeah. let us know whenever it's over or half season. Um, so yeah. Sounds yeah. good. Um, well, thanks everyone for watching. And just remember, if it's classy or cool, it must be near mint. See you guys later. Ready? Yeah. Ready? Okay. okay. Ready? Okay. All right, ready? All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, go. All right. All right. Ready? Uh-huh. Okay. Woo! Okay. Okay. Ready? Ready? Okay, you All right. ready? All right. Okay. Ready? 30, take Amanda. Shut up. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> that was a bad Just Friday. assume I'm always ready. I you know. Don't have I, know. I, don't I got know. this. I got okay. this. Okay. Are you ready? I have no idea. I thought I was. This is your show. This is your baby. All right, we're ready. Right. Right. Let's do it. Okay. Oh my God, that was a good pep talk. Good job, <laughs> yeah. cut me the fuck off. <laughs>